Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. So come on with me. Okay, so today it's going to be an oracle three card you pick with the six card dyadic cross uh, divination at the end. So oracle uh, three pick, uh, you uh, decide what you want and, uh, and I'll tell you what it means. Here we go. Okay, so this is going to be a three pick uh, oracle and then a uh, divination uh, with a dyadic cross uh, to finish them all off. So for the three cards, I thought I'd use this Tarot Mucha. I don't think I've used it in a while. And it's a really great deck. And it's uh, based on the art of Alphonse Mucha. So there you go. And then for the divination, I'll just use this Golden Tarot, which is by Cat Black. And uh, she's a terrific Australian artist. And um, I've got a couple of decks from her, actually. So this will be the final divination. And this will be the Oracle three card you pick. This one comes in a great box. And one of my, uh, I was going to say one of my favorite tarot readers uses this, uh, uh, these cards, but they don't. It's the uh, Golden Tarot. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. But uh, yeah, these have got a, a terrific box this comes in. And as a matter of fact, I even have one of the, I bought two for some reason. So I have an extra uh, package of these cards that I'm going to give away at some point. I don't know when, but uh, there we go. These are really really uh, beautiful cards is that the same thing i say every time could i just record that and just and just run it every time i display cards because but then I don't, I don't buy ugly cards do i i wouldn't buy some cards that i don't like and if i get some i don't like i don't use them and uh it's so easy to return things these days but you can see that these are very colorful they've got a lot of meaning in them they use the rider weight uh, system of uh, divination so uh, that's good for me and uh, you can see that there's lots uh, to come out this is great uh, cards. So here we go. And uh, I'm going to try to put them together nicely. It will give them a little bit of a shuffle. And we'll see what three cards come out for you. So now's a good time for you to kind of clear your mind, you know, think about what it is you want to uh, to uh, get an answer for with these, uh, with these cards. And like I said, they'll just be three. So one, two, and three. And remember, at any point, you can stop the video. You can speed up the video. You can go to a future place. You can go back and see it again. You know, this whole thing is entirely under you contr your control. Sometimes when I'm watching uh, YouTube, I really forget that, um, you know, that, I'm, that I have control over the program. And uh, I'll sit there until something's over, uh, wanting to go get something done. And then all of a sudden, I realize, oh, yeah, I can stop this. Let's pause. So that's what you can do. Uh, for these. So get your mind clear. Think of something that's uh, that's that you'd like uh, to see if there's an answer to and we'll see if we can uh, get there together. So one more of these. Cut the cards. So we're going to do three. We cut it three times. We'll spread them out and go for this three cards in an oracle you pick. Three cards you pick. Okay. One. Two. Three. I think that's good. I'm going to put these aside because we're not going to need them anymore. I'll just hide them under the box and we'll see uh, which cards you like. So you've got one, two, three. One, two, three. You pick now the card you like. How about that? So I'm going to put these up here and we'll start to see what these three cards reveal. If you pick number one, this is the Four of Cups. And you know, the Four of Cups is kind of being uh, offered something that you don't necessarily want. Um, so uh, this maiden here, she's got three cups that are perfectly uh, fine, no issues, and is a little um, off-put by this offer that's coming out here. So this could be um, something that you don't want. I would say this is kind of a no card. And um, and there may be something coming into your your realm, your, your area of this question that you have that isn't exactly the out outcome you want. Uh, so uh, there's that one. That's kind of a no card, and that's the uh, first card. If you pick the second card, okay, this is gonna be, who is this? This is the knight or the page? This is the page 
of pinnacles. And you know, pinnacles are, are value. They're, they can make money. They're worth. They're, they're great big uh, ideas. And so the page, being the lesser of the court cards, he just kind of brings this idea to court for consideration by the knight and the queen and the king. So this is the beginnings of an action, the beginnings of some kind of value-based uh, uh, issue um, uh, to be considered. And I would say that this uh, page here, this is kind of a yes card. He's bringing this out. So this is a yes card. Now, if you pick number three, okay, then we've got here, oh gosh, who are you? Oh, this is the fool. Yeah, this is the zero. So this is the first step of the journey. And this <laughs> beautiful girl is the fool card. And the fool card for me is a yes card because you're starting off on a new journey. Uh, all possibilities are open to you. Um, this is a time to pay attention to where you're going and uh, listen to your conscience. And there's a bright sun here shining down on you, letting you know that this will be fruitful. And let's go and get our uh, our move on with this uh, number three card. Okay, so we've got a no, yes, yes, no, yes, yes. So now we're going to go to the divination part. And that's the uh, golden tarot. Love these cards. They're really amazing. And this is by artist Cat Black, um, who's an Australian artist. And she also designed another set of cards I really love. It's got a really good uh, instruction booklet in here to, to kind of help you decide uh, how these cards could be um, useful to you. The box is great. If you're giving it as a gift or if you're getting it yourself, you say, yeah, I love this box. Sometimes I like the containers as much as I like the cards, I think. But the cards themselves are really Really, really, this is the first uh, time, and my favorite, uh, one of my, I said, we've got a few psychics that I watch, just like probably you do, and uh, one is uh, Psychic Violetta. If you haven't seen Psychic Violetta, she's so sweet, and she's so um, cautious, but she actually has visions, and then backs them up with the cards, so that's amazing. But uh, you can see here that there's lots to see in these cards. They've got a nice um, message in them, and uh, I think there's one more angel in these cards than you get in some of the typical uh, tarot decks. So, and I think that was why uh, Violetta particularly liked these cards. So, the Golden Tarot by Cat Black. You know, I just go on Amazon and try to find uh, cards that I like. And sometimes, not Amazon, but I'm, I'm lured in by the uh, return policy they have. So, here we go. Golden Tarot. We're going to divine uh, card number one, which as a signifier was the Four of Cups. And kind of being made an offer that you don't really want or considering something that you're not sure if that's what you want to do. Uh, that's the four of cups. And remember, cups are emotion, passion, uh, uh, big, uh, big, important uh, decisions usually. So give these a shuffle. These come gilded. And the one thing I, that bothers me about the gilded cards when they get on the edge like that is it eventually wears off and you kind of feel like, gosh, I've lost some of the value. But of course you haven't. They've just broken in and they're part of you. So we'll give a few shuffles here and pull out six cards, or rather five cards, to finish off this um, dyadic cross. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five. Five cards for this number one card um, in this oracle you pick. Okay, signifier was, like I said, the Four of Cups, kind of being made an offer you don't want or considering something that you're not sure if it's exactly the way you want to go. And for the five cards, the challenge to this Four of Cups is going to be the Knight of Coins. Huh, that's interesting. So, you know, the Knight of Coins are um, the earth. You know, they're of value. They're solid. Uh, they can be money. Uh, but this Knight is really um, confident in his coin. His, his uh, horse is standing firm in his place ready to make a move if they have to, and uh, and this knight is is very confident in the uh, coin that's been brought forth here. So the challenge to an offer that you don't want is the fact that whatever is being considered is of some good sturdy value worth fighting for. Don't want it, but maybe uh, you should consider it uh, more heavily. The uh, base of the reading then is a five of wands. And the five of wands, I just love how one of my other favorite tarot card readers, uh, Lena Rodriguez from Tarot Down Under, uh, talks about uh, these five of rods like argy bargy, just kind of pointless uh, arguing or a mix up among people. It's not a bloody fight, but you know, people just kind of try to figure out uh, how can I get ahead or let's do it my way and I'm going to hit you over the head with my stick if we don't. So the five of wands, uh, as a base of this reading, is saying that you know, there's some. There's some uh, disagreement, you know, there's a disagreement here that has caused um, uh, conflict in, the, in this issue. And that was the base of this. So the base of this, this started out with some sort of a disagreement. 
And then in the past in this reading, ah, we have the Seven of Cups. Love the Seven of Cups because Seven of Cups is uh, it's called illusion and delusion sometimes. And it's about all the choices that are available to you. Cups are emotion, passion, um, and uh, big ideas, perhaps. And uh, the Seven of Cups is just telling us, look, there's some choices here to be made, and, uh, and you can take your pick of them. So that was in the past. Uh, regarding uh, this uh, conflict, is maybe it's about uh, which way to go and not sure which way to go. And uh, But once you do make a decision, uh, it, it'll be valuable. And then the sky for this reading then, oh, it's upside down. I don't like reverse cards, but since it came out this way, I'll have to do it. And I'll just tell you up front, what happens is I'm not confident in my um, uh, uh, definition of what the reverse cards mean. But I mean, if I'm forced to use them, I'm not going to turn it around because that doesn't seem very honest to me. But I will turn it around to tell you what this means if it were right side up. So the Ace of Swords, you know, swords are uh, health, uh, rules, uh, laws, um, and justice is how I see it. And uh, so the Ace is a very stern-faced uh, offerer of this of this sword, whatever it might represent. It could be health, it could be rules, it could be justice. But the Ace of uh, Swords is saying, you know, we're going to bring this forward now. If it's reversed like it is when I came out of that deck, I'm going to have to make a decision about how I'm going to read it. So if this is uh, an offer, a big offer of truth and justice and health, then I'm going to have to say that uh, when it's upside down, it's um, it's a confused uh, offer is what I'm going to go with. It's not so much an offer. Uh, I would say it's not the opposite of health or, or justice or, or rules. It's a confusion uh, in that state. So if there's some uncertainty about uh, something along those lines, health, rules, justice, uh, up in the sky, um, I don't like that up in the sky because for the sky for me is like what you would aim for, and it looks like maybe we need to clear up what this confusion is. So we've got a couple of confusion cards, a lot of choices, some disharmony here. This is a value and worth pursuing. So what is the likely outcome for this part? Wow, I've done it again. Okay, and I think it's just the way I'm turning the cards over, but I'm going to have to go with it. I mean, that's the, it came out for a reason. Good heavens, this, the spirits are making me uh, uh, understand definitions of these reverse cards, I think. The star, uh, if it were upright, is uh, you know lots of sunshine, uh, lots of attention, uh, really basking in that, owning the, uh, the almost celebrity that comes with, with the outcome of this. But this is in reverse. So if, 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 if it's all that when it's upright, in reverse, I'm going to have to say that the star card is uh, for me in this reading going to be about uh, not wanting to be in that uh, illuminated position. So that's what we've got here, and I'll put it together again. So we started out with something that we weren't sure of uh, over here. Uh, the challenge to it was that this is something worth fighting for. It's a, it's a value that uh, needs to be uh, taken uh, seriously. There's some uh, conflict about the issue that colors the whole reading. There's some choices that can be made uh, to, to, to that, and maybe that were made to get to this point, um, in the sky with the Ace of Swords, uh, reversed, maybe it's an offer that you don't want. I'm wondering if this is health, could this be an operation or a small procedure? And then, um, and the likely outcome is not really wanting to be in the spotlight for this, but there you are. So that's what I've got. If your card was the number one card. And that was the number one. So we'll put these back, but I'm going to be careful to put them back in the upright position because that really just terrifies me when I see them like that. Okay, so we're going to go on to number two. Number two is coming up. If that's the one you picked, we're about to see what the outcome is for that. So the number two card, then, is the uh, Page of Pentacles. So, like we said, the Page of Pentacles is bringing forth uh, an offer, a message, um, something of value uh, to be considered. Okay? So we have that there. The cards that we'll choose for that, we'll give this a quick couple of shuffles. Why a couple? Because it's number two, of course. And see what truth comes out for this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Okay, so for number two then, signifier being the page 
of coins and offer of value coming forward, the challenge to that then is going to be the Hierophant. And what is the Hierophant but rules, regulations, uh, a body to be followed. So it could be uh, a religious instruction, could be uh, the law, it could be a structure of a community, but the Hierophant represents, you know, a, 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 a structure, a body to be worked within. So this offer of value is being challenged by kind of uh, paying attention to how it must be carried out. The base of this reading then is the nine of coins. And you know, the nine of coins is just really abundance. It's really having everything that you need. It's uh, basking in the glory of all the stuff that you accumulated. You've got just everything that uh, you think is necessary to have a, a fruitful uh, either life or, or situation. That's uh, in the past of this reading then, is going to be the Page of Wands. And like we said, the pages kind of bring forward um, uh, what I want to say. Pages bring forth uh, a message. And the, this and wands are movement, power, motion, forward. And so this page is telling us, you know, we've got to make a decision about which way we're going to do, go and what we're going to do. And it's worth making uh, a thoughtful consideration in this regard. Okay. Then up in the sky for this reading is the Knight of of wands and the knight of wands is the fellow who's saying um this movement this action this this these ideas this this fruitful uh consideration that uh, i'm going to fight for uh is important now he's not charging through uh but he is um uh, ready for a celebration he's ready to say yeah this is how it's going to be we're going to make this happen and that's in the sky of this reading the knight of wands. And then the, the final outcome, if you pick number two, is going to be the Knight of Cups. Very good. So the Knight of Cups then, uh, again, is it passion? Cups are passion, emotion. And, um, and uh, this knight is carefully bringing forward this cup uh, for uh, the court's consideration, for the court to, to um, appreciate, I would say. So again, we're loaded here with, with ideas. Uh, this is an idea coming to the fore that's going to have to abide by the rules that would govern uh, whatever the idea is about. Okay, so we need to pay attention to those. The Nine of Cups tells us that we came from a fruitful, uh, or the Nine of Coins, I should say, a fruitful uh, base for this situation. Uh, we had a Page of Wands who was bringing us a message of, uh, yeah, this, there's a movement that has to go forward. That's what uh, Wands are. The Knight of Wands just kind of verifies that in a bigger way, saying, yeah, we're going to take this forward and it's going to happen. And then the likely outcome of that is that it's going to happen with some thoughtful consideration. Okay, so that's what we've got for the number two card. Now we'll go on to the last card. If you pick number three, or maybe you pick several of these uh, for your, um, for your uh, oracle. So this one is the Fool. So this is the beginning of a journey usually. And we'll see what this Fool uh, says to us uh, in this regard. So beautiful card. I'm glad I use those Terra Mucha cards for this. And um, and then the Golden Terra just really mixed with them really well. As a matter of fact, I was having a little bit of a, uh, a stop gap moment there because I was in my brain, I was saying, is this the Golden Terra? Are these the Mucha Terra? What cards am I using when I was doing that second uh, card there? But uh, so the third card here, the Fool, we're going to see what we can flush out about that card for you right now. And this will be five cards. Let's go back this way a little bit. I'm gonna take one, two, and we're down here. Three, four, and then five. Put these away. We're done with them for the moment. And start to look at what ideas What's going to happen with this fool on this journey? What's the challenge to that? The challenge to this journey, then, is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is, is that same card that we have right here, the Four of Cups. Um, it's just so weird that I was saying you can get these cards mixed up, and now I've pulled the same card that's one of the signifiers. But anyway, so like I said, the Four of Cups is being made an offer or something coming to you that maybe you don't want or you're not sure if you need. That you're really very hesitant. You can see this person has really even got their arms folded and a little bit of a scowl on their face. So this is an offer uh, that's not wanted. Okay, and so with this journey, this journey that you're getting started on is being challenged by maybe it's somewhere you didn't want to go. 
Maybe it's maybe it's a movement that you didn't want to make, perhaps, and it's an emotional situation for you. The base of this reading then is the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups is just a little more disappointment. It's telling you know I've got some spilt milk here. I've got if I take if I quit sulking, okay, I have plenty to get on with, but uh, for some reason uh, the base of this reading is really kind of uh, uh, brooding over some sort of a loss. Okay, so that could have been the end. That, that for that it caused this beginning but in the past in the near past of this is the nine of coins and again same card we had in the previous reading the nine of coins is really plentiful got a lot of value uh, could even be a lot of money but you've got everything you need to to make this uh move forward and then in the sky for this reading is a five of wands wow the same cards again so again that's a uh, uh, disconcerting uh conflict uh not deadly conflict but you know enough to cause a scuffle uh, in there. So that's uh, what's up in the sky of this reading, kind of to look out for. And then the final outcome for this third card, wow, the same cards again. I mean, that is just amazing that I would pull these same cards. You saw me shuffle them <laughs> and then choose them out of uh, a spread. So the Seven of Cups is telling us that there are, are choices to be made and that you'll need to make a decision about how you're going to go about this. It's an emotional decision as well. So we started out on a journey that we probably didn't want to take. We're brooding over the issue to begin with. There's plenty to back it up and no reason not to move forward. There's disagreement over, over how this movement is going to happen, and we have to make a choice about what to do. So that's the last uh, divination for these, uh, these Oracle cards. So with all that in mind, I hope that was useful to you, um, and uh, we'll see uh, what goes from here. Well, that was the three-card oracle you pick for today, and I hope you got something out of it. And uh, if you didn't, set it aside. It may just be that this isn't for you at all today, but you might come back to it later and decide that uh, something is working out for you or someone you know. My name is Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. Thank you very, very much for coming along. I truly do appreciate it. If you've subscribed, thank you even a million times more. And if you haven't subscribed, that's fine. I understand why some folks wouldn't want to. You know it doesn't cost anything, don't you? But if you could subscribe, that'd be very helpful, and I'd appreciate that as well. And anyway, come back tomorrow. Uh, I'll be going somewhere then, and we can all go together. So ciao for now.